Hi y'all, DL here, and we are back with another unboxing. We just got our bookish, and they're kind of behind. I think this is going to be their January box, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so, we are going to dive in and see what we've got, because we've been waiting. I'm waiting on January, February, March, and April. And after that, I canceled it. Not because I don't like the stuff, because I, I love bookish box. But to save a little money. I think the only box I kept was uh, Fairy Loot, and I went ahead and did a three-month subscription to Scribbler. So, yes. January 2023. Yeah, I don't want to go through this yet, because I have not been spoiled for this. Which is surprising, because I was just looking at... Uh, teacher hair crate on YouTube. I don't subscribe to it yet. I'm, I'm thinking hard once things kind of get good. Okay, Zodiac Academy inspired coffee traveler. So I'm going to assume it's a mug of some sort based on the Zodiac Academy. This is a series that I have wanted to read but have yet to. Oh, yes. Uh, I love these kind. They have the little silicone wrap that comes off. And this yeah, silicone, so it's a coffee cup with a silicone lid. Now, I know if you can see behind me, I don't tend to use a lot of them here. Oh, this is pretty. So this is what the front looks like, and that's everything else, the zodiac symbols, so I love that. I said I have yet to read this series, but it is one that I am really interested in, so it's not because I don't want to or I don't think it's good, it's because... <laughs> Well, look behind me. I've got so many books. I've actually got TBR bin here. And the only reason there's not more there is because there's no room there. So, 100% plan on getting to that eventually. Did it say who designed it? At Rad Mad Prince. At Carolyn, Caroline Peckham and Susan... Valenti. So, try to not have that glare on there. So, so, looks like a collaboration. And then we have Star Blast Candle Carousel. Uh, let me get some candle carousels. Designed by the Bookish Box. So, let's kind of peek and see what it has. Oh, it's got like a tray. That I haven't seen before. It comes with a little tray. Star Blast. So I guess you can put all your pieces on this until you're waiting on a candle to put it on. That is... You know what? You know what? If they made the thing longer, you could actually put any size candle on here instead of it having to be a bookish candle. And if it came up from the side, either side, it doesn't even matter, or even from the middle. And the post, this piece was longer. Yeah, it would fit literally any kind of candle. That would be even more awesome. Not that it's not, but I've never seen one come with this before, so that's kind of that's kind of intriguing. And it looks like little stars, which fits the theme of Star Blast. Now, sadly, I know Bookish Box usually comes with a candle. Um. Assuming they're swapping out the candle this month for the candle carousel. Uh, 
I'm kind of stumped by it a little bit though. Wait, I think I know what they did. I, I think that, that, uh, yeah, okay. So these are the little stars. So I think I know what they did. Now that I'm looking at it. Yes, so it magnets to this. And press, great minds think alike. Love it. So, and you have this. These are usually pretty easy to put together. It's just, yeah, there's four spots. So these. Because I did get other candles from other places. Like I got one the other day from the pharmacy. Because <laughs> one candle a, a month is just not enough. I think I love them because they are so simple. It takes a second, but not because they're hard, but because the, some of the pieces are really small. Like these, I mean, you're working with this little bitty thing. But I am absolutely loving this. I have not heard of this book but with this here I'm kind of I'm hoping that it's the book in the box honestly so yes great minds think alike you put the candle down here and the heat waves turn the carousel so that's pretty freaking awesome in fact I can show you that too No, I can't show you because the candle that I have is too big for this. But, but eventually I will get another candle. And I will test it out and I will show it in like my next video, like the February bookish box. So that will be nice. What I can do is show you one from, uh, I don't know if I got a bookish box, very late, what, but I have another one. This is not any of their candles. This is actually the one that I got from the pharmacy. And this does not fit perfectly by any stretch of that word, but you can see the heat waves. They turn the carousel. So anybody who has not seen that work, that's how it works. it over. Okay, I'll have to deal with that in a minute because not only did I tip that one over, I tipped another one too. So, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be one of those days. Okay, and I see a little fabric bag reading coin. Must be one of those decision maker coins. Let's see. Done for now. One more chapter. So that is super cute. So this is our done for nail side. That's the one more chapter side, which is usually where I stand, because who doesn't want to read one more chapter? 
It's usually whenever I'm too tired to focus. It's when I usually put the book down. So if you can't focus, you can't read. So we have our art print. Now this is gorgeous. I do love their art prints. Uh, Between Wrath and Mercy is where this is from. Ours is a fire that will never go out. Ours is a fire that will swallow us whole. And I'd rather burn with you than live in the dark. So that's gorgeous. I will have to laminate a bunch of these because I'm going to put them up all around in my classroom. So, A Kingdom of Stars and Shadows. So what I'm seeing already is really pretty because I'm seeing a lot of foiling. Oh, there's something else in here. It looks like a bookmark. We will share that after we got this because I've already told you what it was and it'd be terrible to tease you and then I'll go ahead and show you. Okay. They have like double protected it, which I super appreciated, but it was inside that bubble wrap and then it's inside this too. So I appreciate that because I have gotten books before where part of the pages were turned over and damaged. And it's like, oh, look at these edges. That looks stunning. So this is what it looks like. Look at that foiling. It doesn't matter that you are destined to be his. Every part of you is belonging to mine. Or is begging to be mine. Sounds like one of those. Uh... Oh. Oh. This is actually kind of interesting. Hold up. Alright. Before I show you the inside. We'll roll with the outside. So. I have never even heard of Holly Rain. You are their savior. But my demise you are ruin every part you are to ruin every part of me so look at the edges all stars stunning loving it not big on pink my favorite's purple this is good i think they could have done different than this kind of i can't tell if that's blue or green the issues would be impartially colorblind so this is the under the dust jacket art, which is gorgeous. I'm loving it. Tell me that you're mine, princess. Even if it isn't true, I need to hear you say it. This was my fate. The fate decided by men and fae, not the gods. Only I could change it. Okay, if I'm honest... I like the end of the jacket art better. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is pretty. But the end of the jacket feels like it, it captures more. So, under the dust, under the all uh, thing, we have this bookish box author signature. We have this. And I had this kind of lion on top here. So, I'm, um, yeah. Yeah, that's going to stick out a little bit there, I think. Yep. Okay. So, looks like the back is the same as the front. Yes, the back is the same as the front, but I think I saw something towards the front. We have an author's note. Oh, at least it's a list of other books by Holly Rain, which I don't think I have ever... 
Okay, I've actually heard of the Stars and Shadows series. So that is nice. Pronunciation guide to help you when you're reading the book. Now look at that first chapter set of pages. I've got to see, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Some of the pages are this black with white, others, so it kind of fluctuates. So that's new. That's kind of cool. So I am 100% liking that. there please don't fall and let's go back to this so saw this after I'd already told you what book it was so I didn't want to not tell you what that was or not go ahead and show it to you I know this is being slightly difficult to don't oh, there it goes all right okay Pocket Book Bay Rune. So I'm gonna guess this is a type of bookmark. And it is based on Sarah J. Mass. R U H N Rune. Artist Fern and Amaya. Which as always I will put that information down in the uh comments or in the all right that is the wrong bag i'll put all the artist information down below in the description I'm having trouble finding my words i think my whole system's messed up since they put me on blood pressure medicine which now they gotta figure out because yeah, blood pressure medicines actually. It brings it down, but then it makes it skyrocket right back up. So, lucky me. <laughs> Get up, do a little bit, and I'm like, feeling like I'm going to pass out. So, oh. Anyway, that is our January 2023 Bookish Box adult book subscription. I do anticipate three more book boxes from them, and then... Hopefully, by the time I get them here, things will be kind of leveled out financially here with me starting to be a teacher in August. And I'll be able to renew that uh, subscription. And I also want to renew my Illumicrate because I really, really love Illumicrate and Owlcrate. These are my four top book boxes that I enjoy. We have, of course, Fairy Loots number one, Illumicrate Pryby number two, Bookish Box number three, and Owlcrate. Well, it'd be a toss up between three and four between Owlcrate and Bookish Box. But I really love them and I, I hated giving them up, but you gotta take care of your family first. So if you enjoyed this book box, unboxing please hit that like and subscribe button down below click that notification bell and you'll get notified every time i post a video and as always y'all have a good day